I've got some questions, as I'm sure the disciples did. But it's not their faith that really concerns me. It's not even their capacity to confess. Oh, we're good at confession. We know all of the right things to say about God. In fact, Peter, uh, who, we're, who, who I'll, I'll zoom in, in, in on for just a moment, Peter is the master of right confessions. Uh, uh, Peter, in Mark chapter 8, when uh, the, Jesus is with his disciples, I know this has already been preached on, so I'm just kind of doing a little recap. When, 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 when Jesus is talking to all the disciples and Jesus says, who do you say that I am? It's Peter who is one of the first people to speak up and say, well, Lord, some say you are John the Baptist who was just beheaded, and so it's fresh. That trauma is fresh, right? And then, and, then, and, then Peter's, and then Peter says, and others say you are Elijah the prophet, uh, who they'll see on the mountain of ascension. They'll see Moses and they'll see Elijah when Jesus is transfigured. And so, and so they'll, they'll say, we know that some say that you are Elijah, some say that you are John the Baptist, but I know that you are the Messiah. That's a good confession. And so confession is not the issue. Faith is not... The issue that I believe that Jesus is asking uh, the, the, the disciples around in this moment, they've got a good confession. They know what it is to have faith in God. They've seen God's track record. They know that God will provide. But I, I guess our, our question or our, the thing that concerns me is, is, is not just their confession, because they know to say the right things, but what strikes me is when Jesus tells them, when they come for me, you're going to abandon me. Oh, Jesus, I would never. Lord, I will always have you back. Come hell or high water, Lord, here it comes. And if anybody falls away, Lord, it won't be me. And all the disciples say, amen. And they start to talk, and you know, they start to fist bump and say, nah, we got, we got your back, God, right? You can see it. Now I can see it. See, if I'm honest, in the church, in the community of God, among the people of God, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not backsliders that bother me. Because at least we're honest that we're struggling. It's not, it's not people who are struggling with addiction that, that, that keep me up at night. Uh, I mean, if I'm going to be honest, it's, 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 not, it's not the folk who, who can say, I, I've had my struggles. I've, I've had my share of hookups and hangups. I don't really worry about folks who can be honest about what their struggles are. It's the few of us that, that, that worship at the, at the altar of certainty that give me pause. It's those of us who, um, I, you know, who, who, who say, Lord, I would never. Soon as you say, open your mouth, soon as you crack your mouth and say, Lord, I would never, I get nervous. Number one, because you don't know yourself. You've engaged in a kind of faith that uh, enables you to compartmentalize who you really are. So you're one person when you're around these folk. You're another person when I see you on A Street, amen. When you when, when pass the line, say, let's get my groove on. You're another person then. Come on, y'all. Stop playing with me. <laughs> I love you too much for us to sit up here and lie to each other. Only folk I'm really worried about in the church are the folks who, who know how to write a good statement, make the right confession but don't actually know who you are in the moment of trial. Don't know who you are in the moment of test. 